Hello. Good morning. Welcome everyone to this third and final day of Odoo Connect. This is Portal 2. The first talk of the day is Chinta Shah. You're who's right. going to be talking to us about Odoo for Omnichannel. Um, I hope you have a great day today and we'll leave it up to Chinta and get going. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good Thank day. Thank you so much. <laughs> good morning. My personal expectation today morning was that if I get to 10 people, it will be great. So thank you. It's more than 10 now. <laughs> thank you. So the topic is omni-channel. Uh, omni-channel is a buzzword from a retail industry perspective for last 10 years, right? I mean, but then which software really makes possible to give you end-to-end -end omni-channel at a reasonable price, at a reasonable implementation? And that's where Udu is, comes, and we happen to implement for a couple of our customers. So what I want to cover today is about what is omnichannel, a little bit of background, how Udu can help, and a couple of case studies. And it's a much more personalized session, so you can stop me, ask me a question in between. We'll not wait till the end of the Q&A anytime. Omnichannel. I'm at a store. I like the shoes, but I want to check online at the same time and want to figure it out if the price is different, if there is a coupon available, if I can use that coupon and want to buy it out. So that's the fun part of it, but of course there is entire journey goes into omni-channel and that's what I wanted to cover. Uh, my, myself, Chintan Shah, CEO and founder of the company Brainwire. We are the Udu Silver Partner for last year, year and a half. Uh, it's a 650 people group, 11 global offices. Uh, mainly focus on digital transformation, IT consulting, and software technology implementation. So omni-channel experience comes from uh, three aspects, I mean, you want to cover up. One definitely is going to be technology, that you need to have a technology which give you experience of omni-channel that you need. Customer service, which is one of the key aspect, and a retail, which is at the end of the day, is where the omni-channel is going to be used. Current customers. So current customers has changed. Like, you know, you talk about customers in 1990s, 2000, 2010, and maybe 2015 onwards. They are more knowledgeable. They are more demanding, more empowered with all the tools and all the phones and all the technology available with social media, more collaborative. So they talk to many people and they want to talk to some live customers before they make a decision. More diverse. So they might be sitting across the globe and they're happy to purchase from any location. They are, that location is not the, something that they are looking at that I, if I'm in US, if I'm in Florida, I want to buy from Florida. That's not the case anymore. More interactive, they want to talk, they want to be open, whether it's a customer review or before the purchase. They want to become more transparent. And increasingly on the move. Customer journey, so that has also changed. This is about the recent customer journey. Customer journey is now more dynamic. They are always on, always available. They want to be online, want to get connected, and journey is more accessible. So when you look at traditional, maybe like 15 years before, so the traditional goes, you discover about the product, you consider whether you want to buy that or not, evaluate the different options which are available for the purchase, then maybe actually make a purchase and use it. But things have changed. It's a non-stop interaction nowadays, whether you talk about promise versus delivery, purchase, evaluate, discover, and it goes on and on and on. So customer is always going to be accessible. Customer is always going to be available. They have all the channels to communicate with you, whether before the purchase, after the purchase, and you need to make sure that you have the right tools, right type of technology, and right type of data to communicate with the customer. Customer front facing. So customer want to know real time, visibility on inventory, status. And I, I happen to be, this is like just a last night example. We lost a couple of us laptop from my colleagues and we wanted to buy a new laptop. But we wanted to buy a laptop, making sure that we can pick up today on our journey from here to LA. We are driving from here to LA in the afternoon. So we just looked at Best Buy, we looked at the five different zip code. We said, okay, we want to buy this type of laptop where it is available. 
and it was easy to select the laptop, make a payment online, so they reserve for you. You select the pickup time approximately. They give you that what, till what time they're open. And now hopefully we'll go and pick up the laptop. So that is something needs to happen on a technology point of view from a retail perspective. But you need to have a technology in place to make sure that those things are possible. And how to do that? That's what we will see in the next couple of slides. Manage inventory cost and resupply. Uh, reduce Wismo call. So standard calls, right? You know, once I make a purchase, what is the status of my order? Where it is? When it's going to ship? How you can make sure that you can reduce those things? How you make sure that those data information is available at multiple locations so that at a, those calls can be reduced, whether it's a bot who is answering the questions or whether it's a standard online where they can see the status or you are emailing, updating, text message, push notification, and it goes on. Allowing self-service account management, which is one of the most important things. They don't want you, they, I mean, consumer don't want to driven by you. They want to drive themselves. They want to make sure that they can do all the different activities by themselves rather than depend on a customer service guy or a customer service people or a team. Self-compliance with the cost cross-border and local tax. So purchasing online, purchasing cross-border with all the taxation, all the knowledge, making sure that all of those information available with a multi-language, multi-currency, and localized feeling. So let's start with the customer expectation. Know me. So customer wants to make sure that you know me, who I am when I'm coming into your website or when I'm coming into a phone call or a trade show. CRM, Udu can help in some way. And we'll go into a detail of that, but I just wanted to give you a glimpse. Show me that you know me, which is the next big thing that, okay, of course you know me. Show me that you know me, whether by greeting me or giving me some historical data or telling me something about me or something about my history. So that's where the sales uh, module can come into picture. Enable me. Now, since you know me, and you're shown, proven that you know me, now enable me, either with the discounts or offers or coupons, or enable with the type of product that I'm looking at, or type of search that I'm looking at, or my behavior or buying pattern. And then at the end of the day, value me, so that you give some personalized promotion, personalized offer, personalized coupon, ultimately, which help them to make the sales. So that's where the e-commerce journey come into picture. So these are some of the modules that we have utilized to give a customer from an omni-channel experience perspective. So we just wanted to put the communication service provider. So this is one of the more key important aspect of the communication that a customer want to communicate with you and they want to make sure that any channel they can use it to communicate with you as a supplier or as a vendor or as a company. And they want to make sure that when they come on any channel, you recognize them and you give them the same experience, whether it's online, whether it's at your store, whether it's on a social media, or whether it's on a trade show, where you're just exhibiting and showing some of the product. So recognizing, acknowledging who is individual customer, greet them with some messages, and make sure that their experience become a little bit better. Operate as a single brand of channel to make sure that you orchestrate the same experience for the customer in whatever the channel they come. That is very important from a brand perspective, that you want to make sure that your brand does not dilute, it remains in the same way, and it gives you the same experience to the customer, which ultimately helps them to make their decision. Show the customer that they are valued with some personalized offer. Uh, welcome, James. Personalized offers, treatment, and rewards. So making sure that uh, that is something we have seen that increasing your conversion is at the maximum level. That if you are spending on Google AdWords or if you are going to spend on a promotion, the best way is that you recognize those customers, target those customers in the right way, and give them the value promotions, offers, or coupons based on their buying behavior. That is the right way to get the fastest and quickest closing the deal. Requirement from a software suit. Now, in order to make sure that all of those things are achieved in some way or other, you need to have a software uh, or a ERP or a software suite, which should able to support those things. Insight driven personalized across all enterprises. Integration across all channels. Integration across all business functions. Integration across all product and all services. 
So these are some of the key aspect that needs to be there from a software perspective, which you plan to use it out. And here comes the omni-channel journey that we are trying to map with Udu, whether it's a modules like uh, e-commerce cloud, CRM, Udu marketing, Udu sales, and Udu support. Some of the other modules can be integrated as well, but since just from a time perspective, we just wanted to make sure that we cover from a maximum. So consumer want to browse a digital experience and identify himself through different channels, whether it's a cookies or whether it's a login or some or other information where you identify. Then they want to have a personalized experience. Since you have identified them on that channel, how to give them that personalized experience, personalized offer, and a content. And the Udu Commerce, Udu CRM are going to be the key important aspect in order to give those type of solution. And then maybe a marketing, which is where you can give a promotions, coupons, discounts, offers. Customer will then browse catalog, look at the personalized offers, and ultimately want to make a decision on a purchase. So that is where you can think about Udu marketing. Some part of e-commerce journey, whether it can be a Udu commerce or it can be a Magento, WooCommerce, any type of shopping cart that you can think about it, depend upon the need and choice that you can think about it. But making sure that the right platforms are used and they are communicating with each other, which is one of the key aspect which is there. Shopping cart, checkout, or reserve, or a block order at that point of time. And then ultimately, once you make a purchase, order status, what is the current status, where it stands. Omni-channel purchase history. So after they make a purchase, there can be a Wismo call or there can be a call. You want to make sure that when the customer calls, you know what type of purchase they have done, what is their history, how to attend to them, how to talk to them, and how to serve them in a better way. Customer engagement and store commerce. So these are some of the aspects that we have tried to map with the Udu on the different Udu modules which are available. And some of the things which are highlighted in the green are something that we can use from a Udu backend and Udu commerce or it can be any other commerce cloud, whether it can be a Magento, Shopify, WooCommerce, end-to-end -end integrated with the Udu from an experience perspective. Very important, customer 360 degree view. One of the key aspect from a customer perspective that what type of purchase customer did, at what point of time, from which channel, when they purchased, what is their buying behavior, what is their pattern, and make sure that when the customer calls, the salesperson or a customer service person have this screen available at the immediate call to make sure that you attend them in the right way. So this is one of the key aspect and it has been ev evolved over the time based on the customer need and we implemented for three of our customers and I will talk, walk you through a couple of case studies, but this has been one of the key aspect and it has directly impacted on the sales, directly impacted from a customer servicing perspective and directly impacted, impacted on getting better reviews, better feedbacks from our customers. And this was implemented in Udu CRM. So of course we have done some customization on top of Udu standard, but this is implemented on a Udu CRM out of the box. Customer 360 degree view, another way of reporting that out. Which channel, what type of purchase, how many interaction before the purchase made. So you exactly want to know how many calls, how many email communication, how many times the browsing happened on the website or a touch point at a store and then ultimately at the end of the day the purchase happened. And then of course uh, monthly transactions, revenue, report, profit, loss, all of those things can be covered. So let's start with a couple of examples. Uh, Insomnia Cookies, a company which owned by Krispy Kreme Donuts, 200 stores plus online. All stores are owned by them. Uh, 
e-commerce powered by Magento. Backend was a custom ERP and the point of sale was a custom POS. So the journey started around nine months back and we said, okay, let's start with that. So they have a customer, they have a five concept called 520. So once you order, the baking of the cookie needs to be started in five minutes. I mean, sorry, prepared in five minutes and delivered in 20 minutes at your location if you are within five miles or three miles of the location. So they wanted to have a POS which can communicate strongly with the e-commerce and they wanted to have a mobile app for a driver which can communicate similar to the Uber that you send a push notification, they look at the driving direction, they look at the route map and they make sure that it's communicated. So we implemented a Udo POS and they are live right now at a five different stores as a proof of concept and then ultimately plan to roll out at the global level. So Udo POS with the backend Udo ERP and they have a very different variance and different type of reporting structure and reporting needs. So they wanted to know that what is their industry, what is the store average of uh, face stage against the company average, how their store performance against the company average, what is the wastage of the food based on that. So all of those reports were very complex and then we ultimately implemented, we integrated uh, Easylytics, which is an analytics platform that we acquired. It's analytics as a managed service and we integrated with Udo. So all the 150 multi-dimensional reports can be out of the box along with the Udo end to end. So e-commerce was, okay, 10, min 10 minutes left. Okay, I have three more slides to cover. Uh, E-commerce was uh, Magento. Uh, mobile app was a native mobile app. So it has more than a million downloads uh, for a consumer perspective. And it's a simple feature that I'm browsing the cookies. I want to select the cookie. I want to select the toppings. I want to make an order. And I want to make sure that if this, if I'm staying within the three miles or two, five miles of the store location, then they want to, they will deliver. If not, I will go and pick up. So, and once you place the order, the POS needs to get the order at the same time, so the baking starts. A driver needs to get a push notification so that the driver is aware I need to go to this store, pick up, and then deliver. And of course, there was some complex logic because they are open till 3 a.m. So they wanted to make sure that which time of the day that you are delivering based on that the minimum wages and the salaries needs to be calculated for the driver based on the number of delivery they have done number of ideal time and things like that. So it was implemented on a traditional software with a custom built software and they outgrown at some point of time and they were looking at something, but their logic was pretty complex. So when you look about uh, from an ERP perspective, they wanted something which is flexible, something which is scalable and something which is easy to change as per the need. So that is something that was implemented using Udo. And we have a case study on this on our website and uh, a detailed walkthrough of the demo if required. We can definitely have our team to do that either on the email or at our booth. Uh, brand Gavin Diamond, uh, Houston based company into diamond and jewelry, uh, e-commerce online with the backend manufacturing for the diamond and uh, jewelry, each and every custom ring. So they have each and every diamond is different. So the SKUs goes into millions of SKUs because each and every diamond is different. Then they have some logic where they want to make sure that the certain characteristics of the diamonds, which are similar, they want to make sure that they categorize into a single uh, product uh, group. Real-time price change based on the RERA or the gold price, you want to make sure that the price get updated. Multiple suppliers, because they don't hold the inventory. Generally, those inventory come from the third party. So you want to make sure that all of those inventory comes to you at every day in the morning or maybe once in a week you update the inventory stats based on that, and then ultimately your customer will be able to make a purchase on that. So e-commerce was implemented using Magento, a entire backend ERP, end-to-end -end CRM, inventory was implemented using Udo. And the true omni-channel experience was coming here was that they were selling online. They have some of the shops which are selling on behalf of them. Plus, they go to some of the trade shows and they do a sales. And then, of course, they sell on some of the other marketplaces. So want to make sure that all of those customers are captured. 
each and every sales will be like close to like a, a shopping cart will be like close to $5,000 plus. So they want to make sure that a customer will have a multiple interaction before they make a purchase and they will have a multiple interaction after the purchase. So this is one of the unique requirements. I will give you a custom ring requirement. I purchase a ring, it goes to the back end, then they want to do a molding and casting. During the molding and casting, again you want to communicate back to the customer if there is going to be a change of price because of the amount of metal is used or amount, I mean the type of diamond is going to be changed and you want to change the shopping cart value or you want to at least communicate with the customer that there is something which is going to be changed. So, and, and then after that, again it needs to communicate back to the shopping cart if there is going to be a credit memo or if going to be a debit memo depend upon the uh, price change. And before you make a final shipping to them, you want to make sure that you take the pictures of the ring or pictures of the jewelry, send it to the customer, get their approval, and then only start the shipping. And shipping is also a very secure shipping, has to be done in a different way. So this is something that was implemented and the complexity here was uh, a multi-source of inventory, multiple interaction with the customer, and the multi-channel from which they are going to interact with you and the complex logic of a sales team commission because each and every sales typically is not going to happen online. Once they browse online, they want to come back and have a call with someone, want to ask you a question about the product, want to make sure that they are clear about that product and then ultimately make a decision to purchase it out. And at that point of time, when they are on the phone with the custom, I mean sales support team or a sales team, sales team might want to change a product based on the discussion and send it back the quotation or a cart where they can click and pay. So those were some of the unique implementation which was done using uh, Udo and Magento. Tridal, uh, one of the largest uh, real estate company in Canada and they are into a renting business and a property management solution. So that is where we implemented the Udo and Udo accounting end to end. Five minutes left, so I will just run through a little bit quick. Yeah. Tent and Table, so Mr. Kevin is here as well. He is the CTO of a company, Tent and Table. Uh, he is speaking at 11 o'clock as well, so if you want to just uh, get more detail about the implementation. Um, four different uh, business line, I mean business uh, identities, so four different websites, four different companies, and they sell on a three different marketplace, so it's four into three, 12. So tell different channels of a sales and uh, uh, from accounting perspective, there's a four different companies at the back end on a Udo accounting. So it's a Pogo Bounce House, Party Tents and Direct, Tent and Table, and Zoom Blower are four different e-commerce platform which was developed on a Magento. In the back end, it was integrated with a Udo from the ERP perspective with the four different companies, making sure that each and every profit and loss are counted on a separate company level. Few of the product are at a cross compatibility level. So some of the product you sell with the name A in tent and table and maybe name B at a Pogo Bounce House. So those are the complexity that has been covered. And then about the channel. So if someone is purchasing from the eBay or someone is purchasing from the Walmart or someone is purchasing at a trade show, how to make sure that you that the same customer has been recognized when they come to the website or when they do a phone call or when they do phone sales for the next time of the order. So that's where the CRM 360 degree was one of the most important aspect of the implementation. And the other aspect is the payment, right? Customer come to a trade show, make a bulk order, and they do a minimum payment to start with. After that, once the production is ready, a salesperson or a follow-up person, AR person is going to call to the customer, ask for the balance payment before the final shipment happens. So that is something that we implemented in this. And then I will keep three minutes, last three minutes from a QA and perspective. Any question? Do you have any questions? Let's keep it YouTube friendly. So I'm going to ask Shintan to stay behind the podium so that the camera gets sure. there on that. And does anyone over here have a question? Yeah. Uh, you can give more elements. Why is the choice of Magento for the e-commerce side? So there are different uh, reasons for that. I mean, uh, 
sometime the choice of magento comes because the customer is already on a magento framework or is aware to some level so they want to stick to that sometime from uh, some of the features and uh, perspective that is the preferred choice from a customer perspective or as a partner like us we suggest we want to implement in the right way so magento tends to e-commerce point of view it tends in a number one from a global open source leading position perspective same way Udo is the number one from an open source ERP perspective. So we want to make sure that the both are merged together in the right perspective and give you a right solution to the customer. Any, any other question? Okay, well let's, thanks Chintan again. No problem. Thank you everyone. Thank you for listening. Thank you.